Welcome back to Sailing With Face. In this episode, we've finished the work and we launch and we do our trip to Bell's Marina from Brown's Marina uh, on the James River in Virginia, USA. So uh, there was a lot of work had been done. We got a new prop. We put USB ports in everywhere. We redid the top and bottom lower rudder supports. You can see the work that was done on the back end. See the previous video for that. And we're ready to launch. So the bottom was painted. They had somebody, I had somebody uh, polish the hull to the best of their abilities. Uh, the paintwork is quite old so it doesn't come up shiny. It would need grinding back or even repainting. Uh, but it, it'll protect it for a while. It's got a wax coat now. And you can see a brand new uh, shaft and prop. The shaft is an inch shaft. It came with 5 eighths, so that's some, a bigger shaft. And we're just about to lower it into the water. I jumped on board and checked for leaks. Once all that was done, no issues. Um, we moved it around to the side of the marina and then put our provisions for the day on board and off we went, me and Alan. So you'll see us just preparing and we're off. So this is one of those channels where it's not very well marked. Uh, over the years, you know, they've let it, some of the markers disappear. What I'm able to do is follow the track same track that I used. I didn't touch ground and I was on low tide then. I know I should be okay. The red track was my previous trip. This green track is the current one. So I'm really impressed. We're doing five and a half knots and uh, this engine is good. This is the James River Bridge. I'm glad you can. I still think it's going to hit. And you know it won't, but I guess the bridge is so huge. They cannot navigate as easily as yourself. They cannot maneuver so as easily as yourself. And they make it quite well known. They're not gonna move out of your way. The tugboats that follow, they have this, well in this instance, he was uh, like squirting water over the stern, just as an indicator that you better stay out of the way, otherwise you're gonna get wet. 
I stayed on a perfect course just to the starboard side of the the waypoint, so I was right on track. Soon after that, we got the sails up. It was a beautiful sail, and they stayed up. We had the auto helm going most of the time, hours on end, and we didn't touch the wheel. It was just fantastic. Um, we were hitting 7.6, 7.7 or 8 knots in places. I think we averaged about 5.5 knots the whole journey. So that's uh, pretty good. Just short shy of a close haul there. Both sails fairly tied in. But we were going very nicely the whole trip. It's a good idea when sailing in congested waters like the around the Norfolk area because of there's still a lot of crab pots and buoys that you have to be aware of. If you use the buoys as navigation points, waypoints, be careful you don't hit them. That's all I'm saying. Saw so two or three pods of dolphin on the way, so that was a real thrill for me. It's fantastic watching, and I swear if you look close, closely, um, a few of them just delayed right there for a while, just have a look at us, just to see what was moving so quick with no noise. Of course, we had no engines at that point. Broad reach, it was a very fast tack. That was the fastest tack, I think, that we were on that day. This was Sunday, August the 7th, and here we are coming in to Bells Marina, getting greeted by my daughter. Helen would just come out of the water after getting a few uh, jellyfish stings. He decided to come out. Here we are navigating our way towards the marina. This was very near to low tide. About an, an hour further on, and it was absolute low. So we pulled up alongside on the uh, floating dock, and then we moved off to find our own own place. Unfortunately, the dock they put us in was about ten and a half foot pole to pole. Well, our beam is eleven foot, so we didn't quite fit. However. We left the boat sticking out, bow out, about eight, five to eight foot further out. And we left it there until the following weekend when I was able to move it into a wider berth. So that was interesting. Anyway, please like and subscribe and look forward to showing you our next videos where we'll be going across the Chesapeake Bay.